there are several pieces to the global diagnosis puzzle, and that's what Jeff and I will be elucidating in this presentation. Face height is measured from glabella, or mid-brow point, to the base of nose. That's 62. Now here's the nice part. Any question that's answered is abnormal, or outside the normal limits, is actually becomes a diagnosis. And once it's given a diagnosis, the nice part is, it tells you the treatment options available for resolving that problem. When we look at the five questions, we see that there's only one of those five that's an outlier from the norm, and that is face height. And when the lower third of the face is longer than the middle third, and we see gingival display all the way from the front to the back, our diagnosis is consistent with vertical maxillary excess. In the final section of our video, Jeff and I are going to use some case presentations to uh, demonstrate the use of the five core questions in making the global diagnosis. So this is Lisa and her chief complaint is that she's got excess gingival display or a gummy smile. She also mentioned that she didn't like the length of her teeth. So let's go through as we've been doing in the video and answer the five core questions. So what's her global analysis diagnosis? She has a hyperactive upper lip and she has dentoalveolar extrusion it could be with or without wear, given the fact that we don't know with the crowns in place. Do you feel there's any difference in the result between electrosurgery and laser for your gingival corrections? You know, Bill's a surgeon, so I'll let him answer it as well, but I can tell you from a, from a prosthodontic standpoint, I don't think the tissue has any respect for the nobility of the instrument you 